Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. I am your host, Board Gamer Girl, and we are in the Endless Sands campaign, Endless Sands scenario of the Fiery Moon campaign. Awesome. What the hell was I going to have you do? It's been way too long for this nonsense. Have you gotten goblins from there? I feel like you have. You're also moving slowly. Yes. You'll just stay over here. I proposed a question to my wisest shaman, Wern, this morning. I sense that Vor fled to the northeast, but I no longer sense him. Where could he have gone, I asked. The wise man was silent for some time, and then said, What'd you bring me? It was Warren's way. In fact, the way of all shaman. Since shaman didn't till their own fields or raise their own sheep, they lived solely from the generosity of those who sought their wisdom. I reached into a sack on my hip, removed a ceramic bottle, and pulled the stopper out with my teeth. Try it, I said. Warren took a cautious sip. His eyebrows perked up as he recognized the strong spirits within. Then he took a long swallow. I'll think on this matter, Tarnum, Warren said. He took another swallow. Already his cheeks became flushed. Come back another time, he said. Right now it's time for him to get drunk. <clears throat> okay, you're already maxed out, but... Well, you're basically gonna... Be the guy doing stuff for us. We've gotten this. All right, all right. Lots of gods, fantastic. A horde of hellhounds. You guys both suck. Whatever, we'll, uh... We'll get ourselves some gods, I guess. No, we will not pursue them. That's even better. So you're clearly just going to wait here... Oh, good. <clears throat> we probably need money. That's what we need. Sorry, it's been too long. But too long. Yes, you need money. Is it worth trying to get the ogre port? I don't think so. I mean, it's a small map, so we might as well just... Stick with what we're doing here. Uh, we'll upgrade the cliff nest, though. That's pretty awesome. Ambush, you shout as dozens of arrows fly from the rocks above. Your men take cover as a second volley falls. Then you order your men up the hill. Ferret out those cowards, you command. But your men return an hour later without a sign of the bandits. Later, you realize the arrows weren't meant for your men, but they're water skins. Half your water is gone. Yeah, slow. Hello, rogues. Yeah. What kind of an army do you have? You have an army that I can take on, I think. I think. I mean, you know, I could be wrong, but... <clears throat> Haha, <laughs> you ran away from me. The wagon is empty. I don't need that nonsense. Some sort of nomad tent. Mm, could be another guy up there. Um, you know what, Gretchen? I'm thinking it's probably time for you to head out. Because... In theory, well, no, well, yeah, whatever, we'll just, we'll leave you here for the day. What'd you bring me, Warren, the shaman asked when I entered the tent. I already brought you something, a bottle, three days ago, but there was no recognition in the shaman's expression. Sighing, I left briefly and had returned with a keg of ale from my own tent. Oh, good, now return in a few days and let me meditate on... Warren never finished his sentence because my hand closed around his scrawny throat. No, you'll answer me now, old man, I said. When I let go, Warren was more cooperative. Warren's been known to keep people waiting for an answer for months. If I hadn't shown the shaman I was serious, I would never learn anything. Ah, yes, you want to know where the mad ancestor could have gone. I tried to talk to the spirits, but they are quiet. Strange. It worries me. Yes, I know that already, but where could Vor have gone? <clears throat> Without the guidance of the ancestors, I cannot say, Warren said. In truth, none of us are whole without the ancestors. Thank you, I said, standing. Before I left, I added, 
Keep trying, will you? Quietly, one said. Of course. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get ourselves some goodies. Now, which do I need to upgrade you guys? That was enough. Perfect. And now we'll upgrade you too. And we'll grab ourselves some more goblins. Huzzah. Now, I need to head over here. I don't really want the nomads, I just kind of don't want them to have the nomads. A pack of a freet. Lots, lots, pack, 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 lots. It's a little more dangerous for me, honestly. We'll come back around here. Can I get to Gretchen in time? Ooh, maybe I can, actually. Can you come down here and meet up? Yes, you can. That's what we'll do. Because I need my Thunderbirds. Yes, I do. We'll just put all this stuff together. And then be ready to attack. Oh, I totally missed there was an ogre club of havoc over there. That uh, makes me stupid. Alright, Gretchen. Let's run back. Um Last night, the camp was attacked by a swarm of imps. They flew among the men, scratching at them and ruining the, uh, running off the horses. They tore down the tents and pitched burning brands on them while my men were still inside. Thankfully, no one was killed during the chaos, although there were many injuries. When it was all over, however, I learned the true nature of their attack. The little creatures managed to snatch some of our supplies. Yes. Ask me how concerned I am about the random supplies. We gotta get ourselves another stat up. And then we're gonna go over here. <clears throat> well, Gretchen comes back and gets us more troops. Mm -hmm. Looking for more goblins. Awesome. More Normad tents. Oh, have I visited the Blue Key Master? I don't think I have. You coming after my town? You totally are. You little jerkwad. Hold on. Can I get to them from down here? Maybe? Yes? Do I need to build better defenses? I mean, I don't, I don't know what else I could do to build better defenses. Get an ogre for it. I guess maybe we should do that. Probably should have done that before I bought this one since it's turn 7. Oh, well. Just 
slide everything out here. I guess just to be on the safe side, we'll buy this stupid stuff now. I'm just not that interested. What can I say? How did you know? How did you know where this was? I find that a little ridiculous. That you didn't want to go the other way and you wanted to come this way and you wanted to go through the stupid... Um, <clears throat> this guy isn't too bad. You've got a bunch of nomads, which are basically my fault, but that's okay. Nine, four, three, three. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit brutal. Can slow you for a turn. All right. Nice. Alright, let's take out these gods. They're a pain in the butt. Why do I only have six of you? How many of you died? Didn't I have a lot? Oh no, I transferred them. That's right, that's right. Okay, never mind. I'm not crazy. Um. Whatever, you'll also come over here while we deal with those nomads later. Can you get to me? Yeah, you totally can. You move seven, though, and you can't get to me, so might as well wait and just take it. <clears throat> Let's kill some nomads. We killed one. Fantastic. Ow. Ow. That was pretty brutal. Totally dead. Oh well. Well, let's just trick out as many of these guys as we can. Ow. That was not enough. Run away. Um, you're out of spell points, so we might as well just... 35... 30... Alright, well this works better, actually, so we'll just do it that way. Run away. And now we kind of sit back and be a little lame.
You didn't run away? Really? There we go! Huzzah! We killed you. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what we're doing here. We'll just look for some against artillery. Woo! Woo! Alright, well that was solid. We lost a lot of people. Yes, we did. But... At least we didn't lose the city. That's... I'm gonna count that as a victory for that nonsense. Um... Why not? We'll take out the horde of hellhounds. The howls, howls echoing off the cliff sounds like a hundred thousand wolves surround you. You form your men in a circle and prepare to meet your threat. Finally, you spot them. A horde of giant black dogs sprint towards you, smoke trailing from their nostrils. Hellhounds, you mutter, tightening your grip on your sword. Why won't... Oh, because of the stupid ambush thing. Never mind, I understand what we have over now. Okay. I'm just hang out here while we buy some more stuff. We spent most of the morning searching for some missing goblins. They went out last night to collect firewood, and no one realized until now that they never came back. Unfortunately, we discovered them staked to Ant Hill as long dead. It was obviously the work of one of those twisted demons. I recognize their battle tactics. They like to strike fear in their opponents before they attack. Men don't fight as well when they fear their opponent. And my men fear these demons now. <clears throat> I don't care enough about whatever's down there, I don't think. Um. I need some sort of blue... Hello? Pack, 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 lots, pack few. You also don't really scare me still. Probably down there is where that blue tent is. Look at all you guys running away. Like the cowards you are. There's no blue tent down here. There's just a pack of Afrit Sultans. And something that would make me move faster. But I don't want to lose my troops. Alright, alright. We'll do clean up. Yay, now my cyclopses are super cyclopses. Why is it faster? I don't understand, but sure. Today, one of my scouts discovered the secret camp of the demons who killed my goblins. If I was ever going to defeat these creatures, I had to prove to my men that they weren't worthy of their fear. So I took four men with me to the demon camp. While they watched from the bushes, I approached the demons alone. I faced imps and gogs and a single demon alone. If I hadn't caught them by surprise, I would have been killed. Instead, I swept through them like an angry storm. First, I took out the gogs, then the demon leader. Most of the imps ran. Unfortunately, they ran directly into my men, who joined the fray to finish the last of the creatures. 
picking up one of the imps, I said, This is what you've been afraid of? Now go back and tell the others. Our enemy is weak. Sorry, that probably wasn't the most super display. Alright, we'll get the gold later. Right now, we need to just... <sighs> Kill the strip water, though. He took his time getting here, unlike the other person who took much less time. Well, honestly, I've run all this way back. I might as well just upgrade everyone. That's the new plan. At this point, just might as well. Alrighty. This is almost a reasonable setup. Let's put you guys over here like that, and we'll do something like this. And actually, we'll move you guys over here and like this. And like this. Sure. <clears throat> Fantastic. Alright, now, can you get to him? Yes, you can! Let's kill this guy, shall we? I think so. Yes, go after my goblins. See if I care. <clears throat> um, we'll just bloodlust you. You can't actually get anywhere though, which is somewhat unfortunate. Yes, yes, I know. Kill them. Oh. Nice! Way to go, Thunderbirds. Oh. Okay. Now you, I believe, have the Silly Ogre's Club of Havoc, right? Yes. Which, I mean, I I guess I could still leave with you, but... The idea is that we're hopefully going to make enough of a dent on them that that's just not going to happen. So you'll hang out here. Tarnum's going to go the wrong way. And yeah, we're gonna call it a day. Oy. Who? Ugh, this is sloppy. This is getting very sloppy. Alright, so come in here and just get the spells, because we might as well. stuff to get. Oh well. We'll send them out next time. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> Where is this blue border guard? That's what we're looking for. Stupid blue border guard. 
Gotta be over here somewhere. Let's go around getting your nomads. See how much I care. Oh, there's someone else over there. Oh, well, drinking well. It's exciting. Where are you, blue border guard? Please tell me you're down here somewhere. Yes! Hello! Alright. Now, let's finish buying out our stu stuff here, just in case they decide to come and attack me. Like they seem to like to do. That's right, run away from me. Cowards. It's just how bad is this guy? Pretty darn bad. Alright, well. The good news is that we should be able to kill them soon. Yay! Now, let's hightail it out of here, shall we? Well... At least they went the long way. That's the only thing I can really say about that. Apparently they don't want to take on our city anymore. It's cool with me. Oh, no, here you go. Oh! Can I get there in time? The land arises slightly. The land ahead rises slightly, bulging like a black sore on the surface of the desert. The sand is charred, and the distant thick smoke, and the distant thick smoke rises from an active volcano. You get the impression that this scorched land hasn't always been here. In fact, it might be quite new. I want you to take on the town. Yes. Okay. Let's go. That is not taking on the town, man. This is taking on patheticness. There we go. All right. Here we go. Well, this is pathetic. I'm severely disappointed. I mean, not really. I, I knew when they sent Pyre out, she was the one who had, you know their big stack. Okay then. Please take out the tower. No, you're not taking out the tower. Well, you're stupid like that. Come here, devils. You're attacking them. Meh. It's okay. You can do whatever you want. Stop slowing those guys. That makes me kind of pissed. Gotta say.
sure. Yay! Congratulations, you captured Asheron and are victorious. And I avoided actually getting my castle stolen, which was totally going to happen. So that was kind of awesome. Uh, anyway, we're going to call it here for today. So thanks everyone for watching. This is Port Gamer Girl saying have a great day. See ya!